Hello everybody, welcome back. Tis yet another Magic Monday. The new set was released on Friday the 5th. I went down and got it, looked at the price, so I kind of altered what I did. Um, I'll just show it. We've got the new one, I got the, the bundle because they're starting to change up things and they're taking a page out of the rest of the trading card world's book and I am not a fan of it. Uh, prices are increasing. The Beyond Boosters, which is fewer cards than before, and, uh, but, you know, it is the way of the world. Magic held on as long as it could, but eventually it will fall. But we have the Assassin's Creed crossover, an original from Ubisoft. God, these game companies, they are, whoo, they are not be doing well these days. Uh, we shall see, but we got the bundle. And, uh, I looked at the thing, there was a couple... Uh, mainly, you're going to get a lot of the the assassins, you know, the the Brotherhood of Assassins and all that. Some historical figures who were involved in the storylines. I know uh, uh, Socrates, I think, is in this, so we're going to be looking for that. And some cool, uh, some cool, um, God, what's the word? Artifacts. That's it. So we got the as we haven't seen a bundle in a while. We've got the die, which I do like the die. The card box, which. Eh. Don't really use those. Uh, the Art Alt Foil Royal Assassin. <coughs> 20 lands, both foil and non. And then here's the the thing. The Beyond Boosters, instead of like the 10 or 12 cards, are now 7 cards. So they're starting to, um, yeah, they're starting to do that. And I know there was um, the, the Collector Boosters, but they were, uh, they were pricey. Let's put it that way. I think it was... Like six, seven dollars for a pack, three hundred and fifty for a box of them, and it's like, nah, I'll just go the, I'll just go the bundle, because there's not too terribly much in here that I'm j desperately hunting for. But we got, I like these. I, I, I have to figure out something to do with these, the little art promos with all the Assassin's Creed accoutrement. Box looks good though, and then we've got all this stuff, and that fell. The one one counters and the different things uh, for adding on. I'm sure we'll get there. Haven't seen much of the mechanics of it yet, but here we go. I, I do love these. I've got such a weird, large selection of twenty sided die just from uh, Magic bundles. You know, because you start at twenty and you use this to keep track of your life. So we've got our foil, or we've got our lands, and then we've got the Beyond Boosters, and we'll have to see just what in the world. Actually, did it say on the box? Uh, Beyond Booster, it did not say what is in it, because, I don't know. We're going to look at the lands. Oh, wait, here's the one with the, um, the Alt Art Foil Royal Assassin, which we definitely need to take a look at. And then, yeah, these are the, so the lands are going to be identical in this pack, but they're going to be non-foil, so we'll just put that off to the side. Well, we've got our foil, uh, don't think it's rare, but our foil of the Royal Assassin, there's going to be some great artwork. Uh, you get out of the way. Foil and whatnot goes up there. Here we go. And let's just enjoy the lands, because that's always been one of my big things. The beautiful lands. Beautiful planes, and again, these are all foil. The lands in the other pack are going to look identical, just not foil. I like that one. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Ooh, Poseidon. I always default to the Greek, um, not not the Roman. Oh, look, New Jersey. <laughs> Shout out, New Jersey. Well, that is a cool-looking swamp. Beautiful, God almighty, beautiful mountain castle. Beautiful mountain view, lovely forest, that almost fell, a little forest cottage. The lands are beautiful, they always are. The one thing I still need to get is the Bob Ross lands. Alright, let's see if it says anything about the Beyond uh, Booster. It, does, it says nothing. Oh well, let's get into it. We don't know if we're going to get a rare, we don't know if we're going to get a foil, we don't know if we're going to get an art card. Well, we got an art card, so huzzah. But let's get into it. Pack number one. We'll start with the art card. Oh, love the art cards. Who do we got here? Mary Reed and Anne Bonnie. Actually, that was a pair uh, that I actually did want to get. Love the art card. Oh, we got an, uh, a showcase. Chain Assassination. I could think of better ways to go. 
Hidden Footblade. Arbaz Mir, he is one of the Brotherhood, I believe. We'll put him to the side. Beautiful uh, Full Art Mountain. Layla Hassan, I know she is one of them. So we're going to get a lot of the Brotherhood. A Hidden Blade on the foil. Hey, see, there you go. Socrates, Athenian teacher on the showcase. Defender, 04. Socrates, Athenian defender, has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Now, that could be interesting because there's a lot of decks that do a lot of stuff with um, um, mutations, and if you get something that's hexproof and can't be touched, you mutate the crap out of that. So Socrates, Socrates could come in handy, and that's awesome. Uh, who else was in there? Another big name, maybe Plato. I can't, I can't recall. We're gonna find out in a little bit, though. The Assassin Gauntlet, propaganda. Love that word. Viewpoint synchronization. Beautiful looking. We got the full art planes. I love the full art. Uh, are these... Yes. We got our, our mythic rare. That's what the M stands for. Mythic, then there's R for rare, uncommon, whatnot. We've got a mythic rare of Staff of Eden, Vault's Key. Beautiful looking card. Take a mythic rare. We got, an, we got Ezio or Ezio, Brash Novice, one of the Brotherhood. Uh, Mythic Rare go up there, Brotherhood go there. Woo! This is, mm, I think, the Borderless variant. The foil Borderless of Arbaz Mir, another Brotherhood member. And speaking of which, Propaganda! You go over here. All right, so at least we're getting some hits. I wasn't sure what to expect with the um, with the new, you know, with the new packs and whatnot. There we go, beautiful looking ship. The Adrestia, that's beautiful. Hook blade, well, that would be fun. As long as it's your turn, equipped creature has flying. We've got Carthetic Reunion, beautiful forest. We've got a rare the of the Animus. Beginning of your step, exile one target legendary creature from a graveyard with a memory counter on it. Oh, interesting. So you can clone everything. We've got a foil rare of Javi, the Allfather, legendary creature, God Warrior. Indestructible as long as there are more than four historic cards in your graveyard. Interesting. And then when you see historic, a lot of these, uh, historic, I believe, is, yeah, there you go. Artifacts, legendary creatures, and sagas are historic. So anything usually that has, like, um, uh, you see the difference in the borders. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just explain right quick. This one is, an, it's an artifact, but it's legendary, but it's not a legendary creature. Are there any actual creatures in here? Now that I'm thinking about it, actually, okay, hold on. I've got, uh, I've got some off to the side here. Let's look back at an old set. God, frigate, that's a, that's a, I just want a creature, land creature. Finally, God, so much more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, you see, the border is just very clean border because it is not uh, a legendary creature, whereas the legendary creatures have kind of a scroll border. Beautiful looking card, though. And then we've got our showcase of Itzio Brash Novice. Eh, there's a creature right there. And simply a mysterious creature. Oh, we put the... We put the in Magic the Gathering. Ugh. Uncover a face-down creature with a reminder... With this reminder card. A face-down creature that was cloaked or cast with disguise has Ward 2. That, I'm going to have to dig into. Let's move it right along. We've still got a bunch more packs. And we'll get out of here in a reasonable time. There's another one of those. We put the the in there. Chain Assassination, saw that before. Fatal Push, do not like the sound of that. Path to Exile, beautiful full art planes. Cover of Darkness is our rare. Towering Viewpoint is our foil. There we go. We've got the showcase 
of Cleopatra Exiled Pharaoh. At the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 counter on each of up to two other target legendary creatures. Whew. Know thy enemies as thy kin. Well, sometimes they are, depending on the kin. And another mysterious creature. All right. So we've got a couple of the Brotherhood, Assassin, you know, the Brotherhood of Assassins, a couple historical figures, and if I remember the lore, and it's been a while, um, they were not necessarily part of the Assassin's Brotherhood, or the Brotherhood of Assassins, but they were figures in it, but we'll see. Restart sequence, I'd like to do that with, uh, like to do that with some videos I've done. Palazzo Archers like that card. Path to Exile again. Lord Poseidon on the island. Ooh, beautiful land. Abstergo Entertainment. That's a beautiful land. Foil Black Market Connections. We've got a foil borderless of Roshan Hidden Magister. That is a gorgeous looking one. Uh, we put him up there. And more propaganda. See what I did there? Hopefully somebody caught that. A couple more packs and we'll get out of here. Moving on to the next. Hidden Blade, still looking for a very specific artifact. And if I don't get it, I'll tell you at least what it is and hopefully pronounce it badly. Become Anonymous some days. We've been getting a lot of this guy, Itzio, the Brash Novice. I think we got the entire run of him. We got a Plains Temporal Trespass. That is a lovely looking card. Uh, we got... Another mythic rare foil of Sword of Eden, Staff of Eden, the Vault's Key. Now that is stunning. The mythic rare foil showcase or borderless Sword of Light and Shadow. That is fantastic looking. And we got a treasure token. I like that. Three more packs. Come on. And who else was in there? Oh, Leonardo da Vinci is also a creature in this. Would like me a Leonardo da Vinci. Adrestia, we've seen that before. Hemlock Vial. <laughs> Shout out Socrates. Palazzo Archers. Gorgeous looking swamp. The Jackdaw. I did want the Jackdaw. Love the ships. Coastal Piracy. There we go. Another uncommon foil. Show, or borderless. I'm getting them all mixed up. Alexios Demos of Cosmos. Well, that is one heck of a mouthful of a name. And we've got an assassin token. Two more. Come on. Come on, Leonardo. Come on. One artifact I'm looking for. Ooh, we got another art card. Here we go. The Brotherhood Regalia. Assassin Gauntlet. Viewpoint Synchronization. Focus Synchronization. A gorgeous looking island. Desynchronization again. Lots of synchronization. Shea Cormac, legendary creature. Uh, Shea Cormac, uh, another one of the uh, the Brotherhood members. Roshan, Hidden Magister. We saw him, I think, literally... Donde? Where'd he go? Roshan. He was here. We just saw him. We've got that. And a gorgeous... Ooh, the gold signature... Our card, is that the Jackdaw? No, it's the Adristia. That is beautiful looking. Love me the art cards. Final pack. Can we pull Leonardo da Vinci? Can I open the pack? Both questions remain to be answered. All right, well, we've answered one. Come on, Leonardo da Vinci. And come on. Let's see. Final pack. Overpowering attack. Go for the throat. Bleeding effect. Ezio Auditori di Firenze. That and that, that's another thing. There were some of them that were written in uh, various languages, and uh, that would be uh, Ezio the uh, I guess the auditor of Florence. I guess Auditori would be would be uh, auditor, but Firenze is the Italian word for the city of Florence. By the way. We got some Italian card. Layla Hassan, another Brotherhood member. Alexios Demos of Cosmos. We saw that one before. Beautiful, borderless Arno Dorian. And a human, a jaunty human rogue to end it all. And unfortunately, we did not get Leonardo da Vinci. 
Bummer. I may try for that one again at some point in the future. We did get Cleopatra, did get Socrates, did get something in Italian, did get a lot of really, really nice uh, Brotherhood members, including uh, quite a few of the uh, Borderless variety, which I am a huge fan of. A couple of Mythic Rares. Beautiful artwork and good times had by all. Oh, and the... To uh, just throw it out there, the... Um, the artifact in question that I was looking for was Mjolnir. Uh, I think that's how it's actually pronounced in mythology. Mjolnir, uh, Thor's hammer, is in here somewhere. Did not get it. But, honestly, how can you really go wrong with magic? You really can't. It's just... It's just so much fun. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. And you know what? The crossovers are cool. Because now... <clears throat> I mean, look at the crossovers we've seen in the past. Um... Dungeons and Dragons, uh, I know Bob Ross did some uh, art uh, insp or artwork inspired lands, that wasn't too much of a crossover, we've seen Jurassic Park, um, I, I've heard rumor Marvel is coming soon, uh, Final Fantasy there's going to be a crossover and potentially, did they do it or have they not done it yet, there was a good, supposed to be a Street Fighter crossover, but... That's the cool thing about magic, and that's one of the things that will always remain on Monday. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I really did. I always enjoy opening up some new magic. Let me know what you think down below. Have a good rest of the... or start to your week, I should say. And we will see you tomorrow.